Okay, now let's have a look at the playback screen. There are three ways to access the playback screen. The first one, press the play button on the front of the recorder, and it goes straight to the screen. Second one, right click with the mouse and hit this button here. Now you have an option of hitting uh, instant playback of five seconds, 10 seconds, 30, one minute or five minutes. Doing that will instantly start playing. Or if you just right click and just hit the play button, that brings up the screen. And the final way, right click, select the menu and hit search. When you come to the playback screen, you'll see that all the search types top left are selected. You can deselect that and just select the one you want. So normal and motion, for example. Here you have a calendar and you can see the days of the, the month. Anything with any recordings will have a red line underneath, as you can see these days here. So if I select Friday, normal and motion recording, you'll see there's five cameras now illuminated. I can select four of them cameras and it will fill in the timeline recordings at the bottom there. You can see where there's stuff happened. And I can play and I can click anywhere along this timeline to bring up that moment in time. Very simply. As you can see on the bottom, you've got a midnight to midnight timeline, so the whole 24 hours is there. You can drill down using these buttons in the bottom right hand corner, go down to two hours, one hour, 30 minutes. You have playback controls here, so we can go full screen, fast backwards, and we can go 2, 4, 8 or 16 speed. We've got slow play, which can be half, half speed, quarter speed, one eighth or one sixteenth. Standard playback or pause. Step is moving forward one frame at a time. And it's each click will step it forward one frame at a time. We've got stop, fast forward again, times two, times four, eight, sixteen. We have zoom. And when you click on that, it'll bring up the camera full screen and you'll have the uh, another shot down the corner here. You can use the mouse wheel now, put the cursor where you want to look, let's look down the road, and then use the wheel and it will zoom into that part of the screen. On this shot in the bottom right hand corner, you can drag this rectangle around now and look anywhere in the shot, and then use the wheel to zoom back. And then right click to get come out of the zoom mode. Next one we have is video clip. Now this is if you need to export the footage to USB to give to the police or just to keep it for your own evidence. Let's go here, let's click on video clip and let's drag, drag to about there and then hit backup. And then we've got the backup screen that comes up. We can choose H.264, AVI or MP4. I always recommend MP4 because most computers can read an MP4 file. It gives you the size, the start time and end time. Hit save. Pop the USB drive in the front or the back of the unit and then click OK. And once that's done, you can remove the USB stick and play it in any computer. Looking again at the playback screen, along the top you've got a few different options here. And events will show you any any events that have happened during the day, any motion activity or any uh, triggers. Let's go to Friday the 3rd, let's go to normal and motion, and let's go to camera 7 and search. So you'll see there we've got different, uh, different shots taken at different times of the night using that one camera. You can click on one and then hit play button and it'll play it. You can click on it, tick on it, and then hit the backup button, export it to USB. So this mode allows you to have a search through any events so you can quickly see what's happened in the space of the evening. Let's just go back to this screen here. So you can see at this point, there's no tire marks on this bit of um, snow here, and there is here. So this is the point where whatever happens here 
happens here. So let's have a quick look. Let's quickly flick through it. Oh, there we go. So instantly, pretty much instantly, we can find out what time something happened, and if we can get more information from that, then there it is. You've got a few different views here. Down the bottom, you can have thumbnail view we're looking at now. File view, and then list view. File view, this is useful if you wanted to select all, all of those shots in one go. You can grab 248 shots in one go there. Here is good if you want to just individually pick certain times for exporting or playing back, you can do that. Or of course you can just instantly play anyone by just clicking on the play button. Next screen we have is sub periods. Now here you get a split screen view of the same camera at fixed time periods. So let's just do um, yeah, full screen view of camera seven. So you see when you play it, you've got four playback screens at different times. You've got midnight, 10 to four in the morning, uh, 10 to 20 to eight, and then 11, 28. You can split that down to eight ways. So we've got eight views there. And if you see something you want to do, play back more detail, just double click on it and it then plays it back for you full screen. Next screen is Smart. Now this is a really good feature. This is allows you to search for any activity in a certain point on the, on the shot. So let me show what I mean by that. So you uh, pick your camera, your date, your time, the type of trigger you want. Click on this little man here, running man here, and that shows you the grid. Now I want to monitor just this area here which is the entrance to my driveway. So I'm going to get rid of this grid, just click and drag a box over it. So that's gone. Get rid of this bit here. There we go. So the only bit of motion I want to look for now is, is here. So once I've picked the, the area, I click on the um, magnifying glass. And then the system shows me on the blue line on the top here, the only activations where there's any motion. Now during the evening, obviously when it's night, you're going to get a lot of as you see here, light bleeding into that area, so that we'll naturally get triggers. But when we get into the daytime stuff, go to here, we've got a cloud, there we go, we've got a card coming out the drive, another car coming out the drive, another car going back in the drive, me coming home. So there we go, there's the, there's the searching for anything that's happened in that area only. And you can see these people here. And the final window on the playback screen is picture. This is where you can view any snapshots or any ma manual captures you've got. Um, so if you've um, you click the manual capture button at any point, or if you've got in the menu, if you have capture set up anywhere, this is where you'll be able to play back your your photos. So go to picture, pick a day pick a channel and search it then brings up all the pictures from that day you can select one and hit play and it'll just play that show that photo and then show the next one and just keep showing the each frame as you go as you can see on the left hand side the, uh, the current file is being showed there so you can see I've got it set up to every 30 seconds take a photo so we're now playing that back I can at any point hit the backup sorry select file or several files and hit backup and it'll then back it up to USB or if you want to select quite a few I can just as many photos as I want to and then hit the backup button and it will export them all to USB